YouTube. This is just a quick do-it-yourself humidifier for your reptile enclosure. I was normally using the Reptifogger that you see here made by Zoomed, but their durability is very sketchy. I've had quite a few go out on me after, I don't know, three to six months. And the stores have been good about replacing them, but it's just, it's just not a very good durable product. So I'm tired of messing around with it. It only works good for the first couple months, and then after that the motor gets loud, and it still works, and then eventually the motor just turns off completely and nothing comes out. So I was looking on YouTube for some ideas on how to make my own, and then I was at Target today, and I found this very cheap humidifier made by Holmes. It was only 30 bucks, and I liked that it had this little nipple, oh, if I can zoom in here, this little nipple here coming off the top because I had some extra tubing, right there and what I did was is I duct taped it to that nipple so there you see the duct tape and it works really good I ran the tubing back into the reptile cage and as you can see here um, the cage actually has some nice humidity being built up you can see the smoke and I have it just sitting up on top here um, as you can see it's just duct taped the tube just duct taped on the nipple and what I like about it, it's ultra quiet, which it says it is, I mean, you don't even hear it. And it lasts, I think, what does it about say, about 18 hours. So that's really nice. You don't have to fill it up once and it just keeps on going. Normally when I get home from work, I got to fill up the ZoomEd one because the bottle on it is um, very small. And you can see here, I have it still up here on my couch. Um, it's just... It's just loud. This one is still working, but it's loud. And I know it's about to go out on me eventually. Probably next month or so. So I don't even want to deal with it anymore. So I have this one here. Kind of might do it myself. And hopefully this one will have a little more longevity than the Reptifogger. I did read online that... The reviews on here are actually pretty good. They're kind of up and down. But if you get a year out of it, I don't have a problem spending 30 bucks a year buying a new one you know I just see it as a cost of owning reptiles so but every couple months and then just issues with this thing it's just oh, it turned into a headache so if you do want to make your own again I would recommend at least trying this Holmes ultrasonic it's only 30 bucks at Target get some duct tape and some tube and just tape it on there like I did and as you can see it's filling up the tank pretty good so if you have any questions or comments, please um, please ask away. I do check my videos quite often for any questions or comments that are posted. So thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe.